So, welcome. My name is Wangi Kenyanga. Today we are in uh, Ruth Kim's uh, YouTube channel. And please, if you're new in this channel, go there, subscribe. For today, we're gonna make meatloaf. And our ingredients today, we're gonna use uh, minced meat. Minced meat here, I have uh, two kilos of minced meat. We have two kilos of minced meat. We, we are going to use eggs. We have uh, paneer meal, or you can use uh, breadcrumbs. We have black pepper, garlic powder, coriander, salt, feta cheese, cooked ham, my favorite, and good cheese. We also have uh, spinach, spinach, bacon. So to start with, uh, I've already uh, prepared some of it. But for our ingredients, for the two kilos of minced meat, we're going to use four eggs. You're going to just beat it whole. The four eggs you put inside. Then you add some salt, uh, pepper to your liking, coriander, uh, <laughs> coriander to your liking also, uh, garlic also to your liking. Then you you add uh, one and a half cups of paneer meal or uh, bread or uh, bread crumbs. You put uh, feta cheese for uh, for me today. I've used uh, 200 grams of uh, feta cheese. It's very nice. It makes the meat uh, tasty and tender. So uh, when you put all the ingredients together, you just you 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 kandaunga, kandaunga need. You need, you need, you need, you need, you need. <laughs> when you're done with the kneading, you just get your mixture of uh, minced mince meat and uh, the rest of the ingredients. You just spread it over tenderly to the foil paper. And you don't have, to, you have to make sure that everything is uh, placed properly. Not too much meat, a little bit. Like if you can see what I've done, it's uh, neatly spread out, at least to get a really good shape of the bre bread loaf. So now I'm spreading the cooked ham. Now we're gonna put the gouda cheese. So when you are preparing everything ingredients, you need to preheat your oven. Heat it to 200 degrees Celsius. So down and up and now the most challenging part and you need to be very cautious and you, you have to take time while you're doing this when, when you are rolling everything together because if you're not going to do it correctly your end results will not be good.
are done with the rolling. This is how it's gonna look after, after you roll it with the foil paper. But before you use the bacon, you just have to close the sides. Just do it gently. So that your ingredients, the cheese won't fall out. So now I'm going to use uh, the bacon. And the bacon, bacon I'm going to use it to wrap it up everything together Here we go, we are actually done with the bacon, laying off the bacon. So now here also you have to be very careful on how you're going to roll your, your loaf to this other side. So we start it gently, we roll it around. using bacon at the end it's a place to wrap it up and hold everything together so when you're done you just have to cover it back again Don't place it in a baking pan. So guys, we're going to place our loaf in the oven. As you can see, we are proceeding on with uh, very well with the meat loaf. As you can see, this one is already cooked inside, and. Uh, on this other side we've removed the foil paper and this one still has the foil paper so now we have to put it back to the oven for approximately 30 minutes for, for the bacon to cook a little bit and to get it crispy and to get the te real taste out of it so we're gonna get it back to the oven Let it cook for another 30 minutes as we turn it around. 